Hey, y'all. Okay, so I'm back. I felt like I needed to have like a part two of this last session because I stitched this and glued it on to make a pocket. So I thought I'd make tag to stick down in there. And I just felt like this was, this was one of those pages I just kind of wanted to rip off. <laughs> but there's a purpose, I guess, there. So I'm going to just try to make this better. So... My point is, if you don't feel creative sometimes, you can always come back and make things. You can improve them. You can do things to make things better. Um, and it may be next time that I do that. I don't know. But I, I really enjoy having these books. I've been taking my sermon notes on Sundays in blank traveler's notebooks. With adding just stickers and stuff and washi, but I kind of want to have it pre-decorated again like I used to so I'm not sticking down stickers in church <laughs> at 43 years old. So anyways, I thought about just pre-decorating a couple more pages to have them ready. Um, so, that being said, I might Mod Podge over this or... Just, you know, put a pretty tag over it. So, but since it's a flip out, I've got to remember not to cover up the washi. Anyways, I did glue on this, um, stitch this and um, made it look like it was stitched on the paper. So I was going to um, put like a tag or two in the middle because you can write on your tags also. Those are fun. Oh, I was looking for a guest check and I didn't think there was one in this. Let's see. Um, first of all, let's go back and make this page a little bit better because we can improve this. I'm just going to put this little stake here. We do have this Rolodex card that's fun. Oh, again, we're, fl we're flipping it back though, so I'm trying to make sure that I leave space to... Um, journal a lot is what I'm trying to say. So I pulled these bits here that I had gotten from Mama Cool Mom and look it's, it's just little scraps and bits that you can use. I mean just some people would say trash. I mean junk. That's what junk journaling is. Look, little bitty pieces of what we would say trash. And you can collage those together and make a fun tag. So, um, yeah, so I thought to make a tag to go in this pocket, I would just get one of the manila tags that came with the collection, if I can find it. <laughs> I don't know where my brain is today. Let's see. Okay, here's one. And we can decoupage or decorate it or whatever. I also thought that um, when I got the flowers out of this Prima package earlier, I mean, how pretty. Oh, that's like a vellum sheet. Look at that. Okay. That's cool to cut up. Anyways, I thought it would be really neat to use this as a tag, so 
My point is, I thought we might could use some trash. Uh, I'm sorry, Jessica, it's not trash, but I'm, I'm making a point here to people that say it's junk, to junk journal with all of these bits. You can make a beautifully collaged tag. And so, I'm sorry, I'm laughing at my daughter trying to get my attention. Quietly, it's funny. Okay, and look, I left, my, I usually have four pair of scissors here, and I left my scissors way across the room. So, here's a little piece of sorry um, fabric, little bitty bit that's in there. And then, um, so let's see. My glue situation didn't change because I still can't find a pen to poke a hole in. Oh, I can use a paper clip. I mean, you would think I know how to improvise by now, but, you know. Anyways, I thought that I had another bottle of Fabri-Tac, but I don't. It was this clear tacky glue. Oh, which would work just fine for a tag. So, we will do that. So, I'm just literally working with what's around me because most of my work stuff is in the living room or my bedroom where I've been working from lately. I know that doesn't make sense to most of you, but that's just how I felt lately. <laughs> so, that being said, um... Most of my stuff is in there. So, I'm just kind of grabbing what's around me on my desk. And I do have some, let's see, here's some, a glue stick for this. I keep feeling like I hear a puppy but I forget my neighbor. How do I forget? My neighbors have a pool. And I'm kind of in the, I'm in the dining room and um, their pool, their backyard is adjacent kind of to my, or in my backyard kind of. So anyways, I think it's kids kind of yelling. And um, they sound like little puppies. I love this. Um, paper just got it's got a cool um, text like a feel like it's almost like a handmade paper I know it's embossed but my embossed paper does not feel like that it feels different um, speaking of I had ordered this little bitty mini embossing machine that my sister-in-law had gotten. Lucky her, she looks up more than me. But she gets out and looks, but she, we were at Tuesday morning one night, and for $25, she got that little, the little bitty embossing machine, and it came with all of the stuff that on HSN, the same exact embossing machine was um, like, hundred dollars if you got all of that and it still didn't come with all of the stuff that was in it at Tuesday morning for $25 and I mean it was so cute and rinky dink like I don't have a cuddle bug or any of the things like my mom and my sister all didn't do so I've just never really fooled with it yet but now I really want one because every time I go to my mom's it seems like I'm wanting to emboss pieces of paper to have them when I need them and all that, even when I don't feel like it. And I'm like, well, what if I need them when I mail out my packages and such? And well, anyways, um, because I like using them on tags like this. And so, um, but they just had one. She looked up and she knew it. I mean, she knew the original cost and what it was worth. I mean, you know, she knows all the products and stuff. So, um, 
so my sister had ordered the same set for like a hundred dollars I think it was on HSN and then um, so it's just a little bitty you know version of a cuddle bug well I was like no I'm just gonna wait it out maybe I'll find one at Tuesday morning maybe maybe well ended up that um, one day on Peachy Cheap, if you are not on Peachy Cheap, I meant subscribe to their web website or whatever, um, do, because a girl told me about that at a scrapbook expo one time, and I'm telling you, that day I subscribed to them, and every night, Peachy, their thing will pop up, I'm in Alabama, and about 11 o'clock, it'll pop up the daily deal for the next day and um that little embossing thing with all of this stuff that's like it, it was like the 115 R value or whatever it popped up for $50 free shipping because it's heavy and I had already you know played with it or seen not really played with it but watched her at my mom's back in January and so I was like yes and so I um I snatched it like that night. This was a couple months back, and it said it might take a bit because they were out of running out of stock or something. I don't know what it what, but anyways, long story short, it did come last week, and I've not done an unboxing yet because I really need her around to show me how to use it. I'm thinking, but I think I'm gonna get my daughter's boyfriend and my other daughter's husband to do the unboxing since it's a machine thing and let them play with it. But then I'm thinking, what if they break it? <laughs> but anyways, so that being said, I will be able to do little, you know, embossing. Now it just, I don't know what size folders it holds, you know, but it, it come with enough to, to work with, you know, so I guess I've not opened it. I know, I know, things are sitting there and open, and you're like, what? I would never, but life's just been crazy lately, so. But it is what you make it. I know, I know it is. But, um, my kids, it's summertime, and, you know, they're graduating and about to graduate and just got married and all, and, I just miss them. I don't know. It's just weird. It's a weird phase of life. But it only gets better from here, right? You know, grandbabies and... Well, she, she needs to finish college first. <laughs> She's in her senior year of college. <laughs> We're like, y'all just make sure you finish college first. Or not all of them. I mean, they don't have to go if they don't... We're just meaning her since she's made it this far. We're like, just finish, finish college. That's all we care about. <laughs> the rest, we're finally... <laughs> But, anyways, trying to fit this new job in with that, which this is my God's end job. I mean, I've prayed for this for two years, and y'all have made it happen. But, um, oh, I didn't see this card, Jessica, on the back. I need to put that in my journal. So, um, anyways... I don't know what I was saying. Something about my daughter and my kids or something. <laughs> oh, goodness. My husband, though, he's right the opposite. I thought he would be, you know, she was his buddy and his, you know, his little mini miniature. My my daughter that's about to graduate this cup coming year, she's my mini me, but that was his, you know, and then my son, but my son's still here, but he graduated, but he's still here. But anyways, I thought he would be just all sad, but he's just, you know, he's fine. He don't care. I guess because we gained, we gained a son, you know, we didn't lose a daughter. But... Oh, anyways, but I'm, I, I mean, he's a man, you know, he just mixes his work in with life and goes on with it. I've got to, I'm new at all this and having to learn how to adjust. 
all the things. Or fit in all the things, rather. Oh, I should have left that piece of fabric, I guess, kind of hanging off the edge. Look, these scissors, I know they're not my little gold scissors, but this is my favorite color of green. And I got these at, at Christmas time at Dollar General for $2 a couple years ago to wrap gifts with. And they cut so good, and I forget that till I use them. So I know I left the top empty, but I don't, I used to think you're supposed to fill every piece of collaging, but I don't guess you have to. I mean, I feel like that's kind of naked right there. Maybe I do need to put this little dude here. Or maybe I need to put a flower since it's a flower journal or, you know, rooted in hope. Oh, I didn't think that was going to come out. <laughs> oh, I could have stamped, but but I didn't. We'll say we did. Okay, so there's that. And then let me see if there's any natural colored fibers in the little fiber. Be proud, y'all. It's been like three hours and I haven't lost my fiber. Oh, goodness. I don't know that these will really poke out much, though, because they're going to be in the center of a page. If I use this tag to in the center of the book to um, journal on in those pockets. It's always hard for me to figure out how to use the book when I first get it. Like, do I want to go in order? Do I not? Does it matter? Does it not? The junk journals, I don't do that way, but these these monthly collections, it, it is. It's kind of confusing for me. Or it's a tough decision, I should say. So there's one tag. And we're going to put it... Oh, well, this, we fancied that up too much to just stick it down in there. So, just kidding. We're not putting it in there. We're going to put it um, We're just going to make a little pocket and put it in here. Well, that's what I was doing over there, but that was a fancy pocket. Let's see. Like the flower, you know, I'm thinking it'll probably fall off. Like this. I thought about maybe making that a pocket, but I like the handwriting on that. Oh, see if I had. I know what I'll do. I'm going to machine stitch up that too, but right now I'm just going to barely glue it on the edge and make it into a pocket. And then I think I'll actually stitch it since it's on the side. Tuck this little tag right there. I need some of those big old clips like um, Lynette has that she breaks out and holds down stuff. Yeah, this will give it a little raised up bulk a little bit to. So there's that tag, and now um, I'll 
Let's see. Yeah, I don't know why everybody loves Prima so much. They're fancy. Fancy, fancy. I'm just going to have to fix that other page when I'm inspired to. And for now, this would be a cool... Well, I keep saying that. Oh, I forgot about the front. <laughs> That's cute. Let's see. Let's turn this trash into treasure. I think I'm gonna see if I can decoupage with a glue stick. That's what we're gonna do. Ooh, these look like, I want my downstairs to look when I move my Crab space down there, like just bright, bohemian looking. Okay, I've got my watercolor brushes in here, just not my watercolors. Yeah, I hear the little children now swimming next door. I need me a, a bestie again with a pole. <laughs> well, I've got one. She just lives very far away. <laughs> um, my daughter's boyfriend has one. We keep trying to get my father-in-law to put in one, but... My parents used to have one, but now it's a whole lifetime ago. Okay, so First of all, you're supposed to peel the layers. Y'all know this, and I did not. So we're going to use this scotch tape and see if I can um, get this off because, oh, there it goes. I think I learned the scotch tape treat by, from... You know what, I'm not even going to say right now because I'm not sure. I'm pretty sure it was Danny, but I forget what she changed her channel name to. And um, I've got a recipe journal from her that I need to unbox that is beautiful. I've seen it, but I need to show y'all. Um, she was junk journals and more. I was. It's not Love Junk Journals, I don't think, because that's Tracy Fox's name, right? So I can't. I don't know. Junk Journals and more. You can find her still, I think. Okay, Jenny. Do this, girl. This is why you do this when you begin. And you would. I would think this had two, three layers. But I don't know. My husband said in the unboxing he'd use this for his handkerchief. <laughs> oh, goodness. I said, you were mean to me in that unboxing. He said, well, turn off the comments. <laughs> I said, nah, you are funny. I felt like at the time he was being mean, but it was actually funny. I mean, that's just his personality. He was really trying to be funny, like when he... Got up and said it was too much for his brain. <laughs> hey, 
maybe that is just two two ply well if it's not you know what it'll come off so there you go there's that's how you know now I have seen Jessica use the bottom part of this or somebody and use this like a Mod Podge and it worked but we're just gonna do the old glue stick trick because y'all know Mod Podge and Alabama are not friends I'm kidding I like to use it but it just I need to get some matte gel medium because my podge is just too sticky on my papers in this humidity. The fun thing about decoupaging is you can go over the words and still see them and I love that. Like music sheets and all that. I love that. And I don't know why I just glued over the top, but I did. I think in my mind I was going to stick something like this over it. This is really cool that vellum comes on the back of Prima flowers. I didn't know that. I got those that off of Peachy Cheap. Also, the um, Prima flowers they came with like a I don't know. It's like a galaxy set something. I'll probably end up selling as a set of something because I don't think I'll, I'll use the flowers but I don't know that I'll do the celestial they're pretty but it's just not my forte I mean, some of the papers were beautiful, but some of them said like tarot cards and stuff, so I just wasn't sure. I mean, I'm sure that I won't use those ones, but it was a pretty paper pad. It came with some silver sequins of like sun, moon, and stars, and I just saw that it was like $15, and you got like three packs of Prima flowers plus the paper pad plus the sequins and all that and I knew it was worth it just for the flowers at the time that was a while back okay so there's that let's add this is stretchy fabric she put in here. Let's see. Let's add one of um, Lynette's fibers on here. Ooh, this gold would be really neat. Where was it so sticky at? Now, why am I thinking I can hold that with a glue stick? Jeannie. Sometimes, girl. Well, I guess I was thinking the fibers would stick. Y'all remember that time when I broke out this because that glue wouldn't work? Well. <laughs> I'm just the fancy crafter, aren't I? I'm like, whatever works, do it. 
Oh, goodness. Twine would have been cute going through there, but it was kind of fancy. I do feel like I need to like put legit Mod Podge over that, though. Legit Mod Podge. But I also feel like it's... I don't know, it's missing something like, you can see the, look, I'm going to bulk this tag up too, and then we're, <laughs> we're going to be like, you said you wasn't. My point was to show you could use trash. I'll use some coffee dyed paper from earlier. Y'all, there is nothing better than good old crunchy coffee dyed paper. I mean, can, well, yeah, if it was like a bohemian mix, I'm thinking can grungy meet up with the beauty of these florals? It can. Grunge meets beauty. Oh, look at that. I mean, I met up with my husband. <laughs> I'm so kidding. I'm just kidding. Let's see. There's a piece of wallpaper you can write on. Or not. I want to put this stick on something so bad. Oh, I covered up the little sunflower, though. Y'all don't think I've lost my mind after today. Oh, I know what we'll do. If I could find my hole punch, we would dangle at this mason jar. Ooh, I could make a hole punch. I meant a hole with my little piercer. Okay. Yeah, it needs a little more of a tag. <gasps> we could put this little pocket on it. Covered up the flower anyway down there, but it's okay. I have a whole nother napkin, and then oh, we can put the mason jar. We'll put the other mason jar in here because I'm gonna dangle this one on the pink side. From no, I'm not. Just kidding, I'm not, I'm gonna, we're gonna put this in here, like I said, on this side. And then, we can write on the mason jar, on this, on the coffee paper. And I'm gonna dangle, like, just a regular manila tag. That's a lot going on.
Yeah, so I can write here and here. And I'm going to put a butterfly in the middle because that middle part is just bugging me. Bugging. <laughs> oh, goodness. Jenny. Then we're going to use some fun fibers again. Up here. Just because And y'all, I always do this wrong, but I have learned and I will teach you now. Don't do it that way that I just did. Okay. So you want to go... <laughs> Wait, let's see. You want to go... From... Um, You don't want to go this, let's see. You want to go the opposite way that I'm going. <laughs> okay, I know, here we go. You want the strings downward. There we go, strings downward. You want the loop up. Loop needs to be up, and then that's the correct way to have it facing forward because I do it backwards every time. And then three years later last week, I was like, Oh, yeah. Oh, Jenny. Okay, so there's that tag. Oh, I need to put my watercolor brush on. I was wondering where that water was coming from over there. Look, we can write here, right here, and then right here, and then... We can cover the bat with some coffee dyed paper. And I can go over this with Mod Podge or this stuff and let it dry the bottom part and it will work. I'm going to do the back of this so I can write on the back of the tag. I'm up too high, but dang, that glue stick stuck. Yeah, there's no pulling that one down. It's okay, it's supposed to have a grungy look to it. No, don't cut the fibers. <laughs> I'm trying. Okay, there's still fibers. I was like, no. fibers get everywhere. They're pretty, but man, that's bad. So make sure you have lac lacra or lac lacra in your um, shorts and your um, leggings when you're crafting with this thread and it won't stick to you. <laughs> oh goodness. I don't even know if that's what it's called. Oh, that's cute. Yeah. To journal on. I might not need to take that one to church. I'll be sidetracked daydreaming about how cute that one is. Let's 
see. And guess what? It's not going to go in that pocket either. Now, it can go... It can go on here. No, because I'm going to journal on it. Oh, we'll do the big paper clip in thing. You know, because that's a big secret and all. I did break out my colored just Dollar Tree paper clips because I thought it might be fun to use some colors um, in this one. Yeah, I'm going to have to um, coat that and let it dry. So that's a fun tag. And then we glued this, but I'm going to stitch it. And then there's another tag that I can journal all over that. And then on the back. And then on top of this. And then... I'm just going to stick this little tag that came from Jessica's stuff in there. And this little journaling card. And I can't lose my little stuff though to make more little tags. And then I'll put this plain um, manila tag in here as well for right now so it won't be so busy. Oh, I decorated the other one, didn't I? The guest check will be cute for now. Wait, I've got some green guest checks. Oops. Yeah, I don't like that. I usually like tearing stuff, but I don't like that. That's just extra writing spaces, you know. So I won't be distracted with my sticker book during church tomorrow. <laughs> uh, I say that. I've been liking taking my just plain driver's notebooks and writing because sometimes I get distracted looking at the beauty of... Um, This book, I do like this. I haven't done anything still to the tag. I love the steak on the front. I mean, how cute. And then I thought about taking half of this dolly and hiding it right there. Look, it's just going to be one of those pages until I know what I'm doing there. Because that's some bright pages. Oh, she fussy cut this butterfly. Oh, you go, Jessica, because, look, that deserves a place just because you took the time to cut that sucker. Sorry, Lynette, I know this is your um, video, but I know you don't care. <laughs> oh, goodness. I found you because of Jessica years ago. And now we're friends. Isn't that funny? Okay, so there's that moth or butterfly. Maybe I don't want this here. Yeah, maybe this can get a little better. This little page there. I 
I'm just going to go ahead and show y'all what um, I do or I've done before that worked it's when I didn't have Mod Podge around. My daughter just stole it to go to her boyfriend's and paint rocks with his niece. So I don't have any. It's her fault. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I don't care. So, um, I used the bo bottom part of this glue. Um, I saw someone do this a couple years ago. They tried it to see if it would work. Then I tried it, and I was like, oh. So, I mean, it does. It dries hard, just like Mod Podge. And it's not sticky. Now, I can see the lines is why I'm being so meticulous. Oh, I won't be able to write on the coffee dye paper if I, I'm not going to paint over the whole coffee dye paper. Yeah, once this dries and if I have my dryer plugged up over here, which I actually do, I think. Um, I could write over this on my chalk marker and it did not require that much I was just trying to get the lines out <gasps> oh I'm going to use this little tool here to make that straight these are from the Dollar Tree and I have one in the giveaway. But yeah, so that's that works. I don't like that sticking out right there though. Oh yeah, that spreads nicely. No, don't mess up my cute little envelope. I hope I've been in frame this whole time because I've just been having fun. I, I mean, I have a love-hate relationship with Mod Podge and things. I don't like it, but I love it. <laughs> Let me see if my um, dryer is plugged up. It is, I do believe. I glued those down. I mean, and it doesn't take days or anything or layers, but if you'll let it dry overnight, or this may totally, yeah, it's not gonna be tacky or anything like normal Mod Podge. Yeah, I like that. Oh, I was about to catch that envelope on fire. Um, yeah, see, I like that. It needs to dry a little more. I didn't dry it long enough, but yeah, loving that. My little jar I need to write on. So. Got our little collaged tags. And I have, I still, I mean, we have those. I'm trying to find my other one, but, oh, I forgot. I mean, and we still have all these bits just here. Like, I mean, you know, don't throw these, away. well, you can't hold on to all that stuff, but I'm just saying. Like, you can take, and go watch, I mean, Jessica's video. She's got one about it. And I know Lynette's been collaging a lot lately as well. They've both got some great videos out on collaging. That um, makes it just so 
quick and easy using like these little bitty bits that you would usually throw away. Again, don't keep all the little bits. But I mean, this is vintage. Oh, this is a little vintage bus ticket. Gus Bub. Oh, go by bus. I thought it said Gus by bus. <laughs> Lynette sent us one of those last year. And I thought, that's from Jessica, but I thought that it said Gus by bus this whole time. Anyways, so yeah, you can turn your paper trash into beautiful treasure. So, thank y'all so much again for watching. And I have glue all over me and feathers, not feathers, but. And I will talk to y'all later. Y'all have a great weekend again. Bye.